All right, guys, KK4PYN here. I uh, wanted to make a quick video. Um, part of an upcoming project. Um, you can see here we're on 7.192. Uh, this is a little bit off, but got these guys talking. Oh, they were talking a second ago. There you go. Um, oh, yeah. This is yeah, my yeah, I know what you made now. Yeah. Yeah. ICOM IC 745 running through a MFJ 949 tuner going out to a G5 RV. That's, that's my HF setup that I have here at the house. I love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world. Keeping it. At any rate, um, I'm going to be going QRP all of next year pretty much. And, um,. This is a, well you can see because the light in here is horrible. This is a little deal that I got. This was actually the first time I ever heard HF radio. I traded this for <laughs> a guitar, which I don't know how to play guitar, so it wasn't that much of a loss. This is the, uh, let's see if I can see that there. That's the MFJ. This is a VEC, or excuse me, electronics, a VEC. This is an 1140. So this little, doodad here which is you know size of my hand I guess is a 40 meter receiver um, and if we turn down let's see wait till these guys start talking again well they're in there I'm sorry well there we go. we're gonna turn this off so I don't think there's any magic going on we're going to turn this one on. Now this is not the same antenna. I've got this going out to a little homebrew, just random wire. And I got it plugged into this little speaker here. And that's the uh, that's the same signal. So this is tuned to 7.192-ish right now. You see, it's got a polyvericon here. Um, this is the gain control, and um, there's the main tuning can. So this is based around uh, Signetics NE602 and an LM386 amp. Let's see if we can tune these guys in a little bit better. And again, it. And, uh, it is it. Uh, it's, uh, there's some kind of lubricant. No, I'm not. Uh, but it, it doesn't settle out. It, it doesn't, uh, pump the way oil does it, gasoline. No, there's not much you can do to deal with the noise. I'm not sure I'm sure you want to get here. It, it's really something, and it's, uh, like I said, it's a little bit of work business than gasoline. Oh, it's a little bit work Just adjusting this variable cap here. This thing's got a lot of drift. Um, I think it has to do a lot with the battery voltage, which that's probably running down. And, you know, polyvericon's not. <laughs> Not very stable, but turn the gain up here. I mean, this thing's clear. Except for the noise in the background. Now, I do have a solution for that noise. It's not hooked up right now. Oh, sorry for the shaky video, guys. And that's the uh, old Radio Shack DSP40 here. <laughs> This is, um, <laughs> this actually works pretty good. I've, I've hooked it up before. I don't have it hooked up right now. And this uses barely any power. It actually puts out five watts of audio. <laughs> so I'll be bringing this in the field with me for my QRP rig as the external speaker. Um, even though it's going to use extra power, it still will make 
copying things a little bit easier so but uh I just wanted to make this quick video here because it, I'm getting some signals the bands aren't very good right now I was able to pick these guys up um, with this variable inductor here I can slug tune this thing down into the CW portion of the band and they actually make a transmitter that matches this which puts out like a watt yeah, that's which I, I bought to build but it came with this circuit board um, so I had to send that back I don't think they, 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 they don't make these anymore so but anyway um, they do make an enclosure for it they're like 30 bucks for this kit and it's like 30 bucks for the transmitter so um, I've actually ordered a uh, tune around here I actually ordered a Pixie 2. I'm going to build that. It's a lot smaller. Tuning on this thing is retarded. It would be nice if we had a huge dial. At any rate. Let's tune down into CW real quick. Works way better for that. See if there's any CW going on. Oh, well, it's pretty hit and miss. Oh well. Alright guys, well, that was just a quick little look at the uh, Vectronics VEC 1140. <laughs> I had this forever and just played with it and played with it. Um, one thing I'll probably do in the future is just add a BNC jack or a pigtail. And, um,. You know, the big quarter inch speaker jack's kind of overkill too, but so it came. If you do have one, make sure you zip tie this power wire down because it'll break. And I shortened this wire up from the, uh, coming from the 602 over to the Polyvericon. Um, because it tends to do some weird things as you put your hand near it to tune it, 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 it was changing the tuning so I just shortened that up and um, I've actually replaced this because I blew that before I don't know how <laughs> that's a newer chip this is a 612 um, it came with a 602 in it in any 602 and this is a 612 so sorry it's upside down there it's just the way I gotta operate on my desk so uh, I'll make another video once I get some good CW with it um, plugged into FL Digi and, and decoding some CW. So, alright, you guys, stay tuned. There's always more to come. 73s.